Hi friends, in this video we see about some objective type questions. The first question is electromagnetic induction is not used in. Okay, so the options are transformer, room heater, AC generator and show coil. Okay, here transformer, AC generator and show coil are uh, used uh, according to the principle of electromagnetic induction but the room heater uh, is the uh, application of uh, heating effect okay so uh, so the answer is room heater the other three saw uh, worked according to the electromagnetic induction principle okay so the next one is in hydrogen atom which of the following transition produce a spectral line of maximum wavelength okay so the transition produces spectral line means the in a hydrogen a hydrogen atom the electron um, coming out from or uh, jumps from higher state to uh, lower state okay then uh, the energy is radiated okay so that is a ray uh, we obtained the uh, radiation that is called the spectral line so what is the maximum wavelength of the spectral line okay uh, in uh, what is the maximum wavelength of spectral line uh, in which the following transition okay so the answer is 6 to 5 okay so in the transition 6 to 5 that is 6th state to 5th uh, state the electrons jumps then we get the maximum wavelength of spectral lines okay so the next one is the self inductance of a straight conductor is okay uh, options are 0 infinity very large very small Okay, so the self inductance of a in a straight conductor is um, uh, that is in a straight conductor uh, the field the magnetic field lines are arranged in a circular path. Okay, so uh, that circular pattern is perpendicular to the uh, to this conductor. So there is no flux linked with the um, conductor. That means there is zero. So the self inductance L is zero in a straight conductor okay so the next one is the unit henry can also be written as so the unit henry can be written as um, here the answer is all that is uh, volt second ampere minus one and vapor ampere minus one then uh, ohm second okay this three answer is correct okay so the uh, so the answer is answer d all okay so the next one is transformer works on the options are ac only dc only both ac and dc and ac more effectively than dc okay so transformer means that is uh, it convert low uh, alternating current into high, uh, high, uh, high alternating voltage isn't it so low alternating voltage to high alternating voltage or low alternating current into high alternating current so that means the transformer works on the ac only okay so the next one is the part of ac generator that passes the current from the coil to the external circuit is so the uh, these four options are uh, part of the ac generator the field magnet the first option field magnet is uh, give the necessary uh, magnetic field to the ac generator the armature is a rectangle coil then slip rings is a there are rings connected to the armature then brushes are the that uh, the here the answer is uh, brushes that means uh, the uh, the, uh, the current passes the uh, uh, the current passes through the pressures uh, to the external circuit okay that means uh, the pressures are used in the ac generator that passes the current from the coil to the external circuit okay so the next one is which of the following cannot be stepped up in a transformer okay so in a step up transformer we can step the input current input voltage but we cannot step uh, stepped up yeah input power okay so here the answer is input power so the next one is which of the following devices does not allow the dc to pass through it and the options are resistor capacitor inductor all of the above that means here uh, capacitors only does not allow the dc current through it okay so the next one is the power loss is less in transmission line when that is power loss means uh, the transmission line means uh, here the uh, 
currents are generated uh, in a power station that is power is generated in a power station and transmitted through tran uh, transmission lines and uh, it comes into our house offices etc okay so here in the transmission lines the power loss is less when when voltage is more but current is less in the power station um, uh, the voltage is uh, we transmit the voltage uh, is high but we get the current uh, uh, current is minimum okay so the power loss is less in transmission lines when voltage is more but current is less okay so next one is in an ac circuit the applied em of e equal to e not sin omega t plus pi by 2 okay uh, leads the current i equal to i not sin omega t by pi by 2 by uh, that is applied em of we apply the voltage e e not sin omega t plus pi by 2 then the corresponding current uh, value is i equal to i not sin omega t minus pi by 2 okay so what is the uh, 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 here voltage leads the current okay so uh, in which angle so the angle is pi it is 180 degree so here the answer is c pi okay so the next one is in an ac circuit the, uh, here there are four options uh, first one is the average value of current is zero the average value of square of the current is zero the average per dissipation is zero the rms current is root two times of peak current here in ac circuit we um, uh, uh, we cannot calculate the average value of current okay that means the average value of current is zero so we cannot take the uh, we can take only the rms current value isn't it so the correct answer is the average value of current is zero okay so the next one is an em of an emf of 12 volt is induced when the current in the coil changes at the rate of 40 ampere second minus one the coefficients of self induction of the coil is uh, uh, we find out the value of l okay so use the formula l equal to e by t i by t dt so t i d i by dt is the um, current in the coil changes at the rate of okay so that means d i by dt equal to 40 ampere second minus 1 then emf of 12 volt that is voltage we put e equal to 12 volt and 12 by uh, 40 we get the answer uh, 0 0.3 henry that is a okay next one is the elliptical orbit of electron in the atom was proposed by okay so uh, the uh, in an atom the electron uh, revolve in a elliptical path okay so this uh, elliptical concept was uh, proposed by the Sommerfeld. jj thompson uh, proposed uh, atom is a sphere isn't it so in bohr uh, considered two postulate that is angular momentum and uh, frequency okay but uh, Sommerfeld uh, proposed uh, electron revolve in a uh, in a elliptical orbit okay so the answer is Sommerfeld next one is ground state energy of hydrogen atom is uh, that is lowest state energy of hydrogen atom is uh, um, here the answer is 13.6 electron volt okay so the answer is B 13.6 electron volt the ground state of energy of hydrogen atom is 13.6 electron volt so the next one is x-rays are phenomena of okay so x-rays are phenomena of conversion of kinetic energy into radiation the second option is conversion of momentum the third one is conversion of energy into mass the fourth one is principle of conservation of energy but we know the uh, phenol con uh, x-ray means the conversion of kinetic energy into radiation that is the electron uh, moves okay and uh, the electron emitted from the flymat and it uh, hit the target okay so then it emits the uh, radiation unknown radiation that is called the x-rays that means the kinetic energy of electrons convert into radiation okay so the answer is a phenomena of conversion of kinetic energy into radiation okay so the next question is in an x-ray tube the intensity of the emitted x-ray beam is increased by here intensity means brightness okay so how to increase the, um, uh, in the uh, intensity that is brightness of uh, x-rays okay so 
uh, here uh, the answer is uh, a increasing the filament current okay increasing the filament current uh, if increasing the filament current uh, that means uh, 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 the filament is heated more then you may then uh, it emits electrons okay so lot of electrons that the electrons uh, incident on the target and we get the um, x rays okay uh, so uh, uh, so when we increase the uh, filament current we get the brightness uh, x ray okay so we increase the intensity of x rays so the answer is a increasing the filament current the next one is according to bohr postulates which of the following quantities this discrete values okay so kinetic energy potential energy angular momentum and momentum in four uh, in four uh, postulates we consider the angular momentum isn't it so the angular momentum check the discrete value so the answer is c angular momentum the next one is the ratio of radio of the first three bohr orbitals that is r uh, the more calculate the uh, radius value or n okay so uh, what is the ratio of uh, radius for 3 um, uh, 3 orbit okay so here the answer is 1 is to 4 is to uh, 9 okay that is 1 2 square 3 square that's like okay so 1 is to 4 is to 9 the answer is c next one is the first excitation potential energy or the minimum energy required to excite the atom from crown state of hydrogen atom is that means uh, excitation potential energy means the energy required to raise an atom from its normal state to an excited state that is we need the energy okay so to raise the or uh, to lift the energy to lift the atom from one state to another state that is called the excitation potential energy or we call it minimum energy okay so here the question is the first excitation potential energy or the minimum energy required to excite the atom from crown state of hydrogen atom is okay here the first option is crown state of hydrogen uh, crown state energy of hydrogen atom 13.6 okay the electron volt then second one is 10.2 electron volt the third one is 3.4 electron volt and fourth one is 1.89 electron volt here 13.6 uh, electron volt is the first um, uh, sorry ground state uh, hydrogen atom energy then 3.4 option c is the 3.4 electron volt uh, that is the uh, first state uh, energy okay so here the question is uh, how much amount of energy is given to the electron to lift the uh, electron from ground state to higher state that is next state so uh, we calculate uh, we sub uh, subtract the first level ground state energy and the next level energy that is 13.6 minus 3.4 so we get the answer b 10.2 electron volt the answer is b 10.2 electron volt okay so the energy 10.2 electron volt is required to uh, to uh, to raise the atom from ground state to the uh, higher state okay so the next one is according to rutherford atom model the spectral lines emitted by an atom is okay Con line spectrum continuous spectrum continuous absorption spectrum or, uh, and uh, band spectrum okay so here the answer is continuous spectrum so continuous spectrum means the spectral lines are uh, emitted uh, from the uh, lower well to higher value or the wavelength the, uh, the, uh, the radiation wavelength or obtained from lower value to higher value continuously okay so uh, according to rutherford atom model we get the um, continuous spectrum okay that's all friends thank you